G'day, Jack out the back here. It's Monday, so it's time to go for a fly. Last week we had a bit of rain, so it'd be good to see what we had around the place. So I'm gonna land up at Bullock, where we did the camera fix, and check how much water we got there, and I'm gonna put a new Wi-Fi AP in. Now, some people have been commenting and saying that there might be just a little bit too much flying time, that you don't really see that much, so I'm gonna try out something different but also let me know in the comments the sort of content that you do want to see. If flying is just boring, we can speed it up or we can just skip it and cut down to the chase. Cheers, enjoy. Landed at Bullock. A little bit of a gust that got us just at the end there, but nothing that we can't handle in this little bird. So time to jump out and make my little modification, check the rain gauge. So I'll just be a second doing that. Got my little bit of Wi-Fi gear. Rest that up here for the moment. Oh, that's a bit more than I thought we were gonna have. About 22 and a half mils there. Now I've got a new type of weather station down at the homestead that I'm testing out, and I'll probably jump to that for today's video because. That's the sort of stuff that we want to go to. Um, it's a wireless connected one, means we can check it from anywhere, which has its advantages. It means that instead of just sort of guessing or you know not being able to get to a point for a little while, you can say with certainty what you've you've received, and it gives you a bit of an idea of the distribution. Got a cow just over there. She's hiding in the bush over there when I was landing, but. Because they um, have learnt from the past that you know, aircraft aren't their friends when they're used to use helicopters and planes for mustering, they'll um, duck under a tree to make sure that they can't be seen. Can't say that they're not clever. So why we are here today and putting this little unit in is to increase the Wi-Fi range so that you can fly over and check in, which is you know, just handy and it's nice to do. But it, because the box down here, the Wi-Fi in it at the moment, is all metal, 
so it doesn't have the best transmission range you know you've gone and thrown it in a metal cage so she's not going to perform well so just going to climb up there put this unit in and then take the old one out of the box if i'd remembered the key so we might be running two wi-fi's here for a little while but that gives me a little job next week to do dust off the camera while we're here we're also gonna be able to have a little bit of a look and see if the pesky birds have had a go at any of our cables since we fixed her up last week or well, two weeks ago doesn't look like it perhaps there Move that over a little bit. I know it's very rough at the moment. A few more cows crossing over there. So she's plugged in, powered up. We just want to put her in a spot where it's going to get held nicely. Provide us with the best possible range that we can. And if I can get a little bit of tape around here, probably down the bottom where my nice bird spikes are. Right, <clears throat> then just simply pull out my phone and we are connected we're on the wi-fi so that's always handy we check which wi-fi we're on okay it's saying we're on the air cube which is the unit downstairs don't have any status lights so i'm just gonna have to jump in now i don't know why it's doing that because I had it configured and running this morning because it's always handy to do that before you come out and about so you don't have to stand up somewhere awkwardly and potentially press a reset button which it's telling me I need to do so unfortunately I don't actually have a paper clip with me but what I do have is a whole bunch of anti-bird spikes So my reset button's just up there. Get the bird spike. All right, a good 10 seconds should give it a full reset. So just a power cycle. Jump in and see if there's any new devices showing up. So I'll reboot it. All right, I'm just gonna turn off the camera for a few minutes while I wait for this, because there's no point wasting battery on that right so that config didn't work uh it appears to be just the issues of being on a mobile device that's happened a few times to me before usually i've got an android phone and an apple phone to be able to switch between the two of them because there are differences in the, the way the apps work but got it reset and i'll just go back and jump on the computer and adopt it from back there to get it working so it's time to continue this little flight around and make sure that the place is all good to go. Alright, we're into our second battery. And it's gonna taxi down to the other end.
like I'm going to have to go put that iPod on charge. So the next time I go for a fly, she's fully ready to go. But not a bad flight all around. There is somewhere I'm going to have to go and physically fix up on the ground, but that's part of life. So I'm back at home now. I'm going to just jump on the computer and adopt that device to see if it's going to play the game today. Go to our devices. It's got click to adopt, so let's hope that it's going to play the game. Um, if that fails, like it's saying it is, uh, I'm going to have to physically grab it, pull it down and give it a hard reset or reset one back here and adopt it and then take it out and install it. That unit was taken down because it was having some issues in reliability. So yeah, it's not surprising. So win some and lose some. We'll just jump in, flick over to our camera setup, and we'll just have a look at what we've got going on on those. So jump onto our live view. We've got two spare cameras, which aren't operating at the moment, but this is giving us just that quick look around and see that Sweetwater's trough is overflowing a little bit. That's generally to do with the leak from a bit of rain and not having many livestock come in. But what'll be good is if we jump onto Bullock in our playback, and go to the north facing one and we'll have me landing got some cows coming out they're the ones that we saw that were hiding in the trees just out to the north when we landed and there we are um, here we can see that we've got our dipstick up so our water's okay we jump to the other camera and we can see that our water is okay and we've got our clear access for our gate same again on the other side we can just zoom in move up we can see our in and out gates are clear and accessible for the animals and as we saw those other ones earlier they were all good something that's kind of gone hand in hand with pastoral for quite a long time now is mineral expiration we're not unaffected by this and it's not a bad thing. What it does is provides a little bit of an alternate use for some of your accommodation. So for us, we don't tend to have a large amount of staff. Usually it's just myself, maybe one other up here and naturally the wife and kids. So we've got an excess of equipment that we don't really utilize and we are starting to upgrade some of it which makes it a little bit nicer for friends and family when they do come up. So this weekend, we've got a crew coming up that are doing a heli survey, which is just a, um, a scan using electromagnetic sensors to pick up any anomalies and identify areas to target searches. So we're just getting the quarters ready for them. And one of the things I've got to do over the next few days is fit up some air cons so it's nice and cool. But I'll just go over the quarters at the moment and yeah, give you a little bit of a rundown of what we've got here. So what we've got is two dongers which we picked up out of Leonora and we've placed them here and we've got them plumbed in with gas hot water and a pressure pump so you can have half decent showers. And I've got the, the steel there and I've got the tin just out the back there to put a roof over this and then put some concrete in here so it can be a little bit nicer. So we'll just cruise on over and we'll just pop in and see what we've got as far as uh, accommodation goes at the moment. The really basic kitchen, a couple of beds. What I'm gonna do is put a split system aircon in over there so that you can get this area cool. And yeah, you might be bunking in, but usually friends and family, you don't really mind as long as you've got a cold bed. Pretty standard shower and, uh, and toilet. And 
and then we've got the master bedroom. Uh, that aircon there is going to get taken out because it's stuck set to 16 degrees only. She's getting a bit old, not very efficient. Because of the hard water, I've modified these shower heads by drilling them out so you've got better flow and they don't block up. And something you can use is just a wooden skewer to uh, regain your flow. Needless to say, they serve their purpose and they, they get you wet. I've also got to throw a set of blinds across there, but once you've got the roof over it, you'll have a lot less heat coming in on it. So we'll cruise over to donger number two. And these are known as the cuckoo's nest. No kitchenette in this one. Got two beds down this end. They're not the, the finest of mattresses. We've got a extra large bathroom here and that's because it was set up as a laundry room as well. And then a master bedroom and at some stage we'll wax some aircon over here so you can have a restful night's sleep. Not the fanciest but they certainly better than being out in a swag and with the opportunity to put aircon on does make life a little bit nicer when you're out here. We've got our other original dongers over here. Got a bit of grass that gets mown nicely by the cows. Shower, toilet, single rooms. They don't have aircon at the moment and they cut really because there's only so much you can do with old, old gear. You pop into the the kitchen that we've retrofitted in here and then you've got to make sure that you've got half decent entertainment so nice big stereo ps4 and chromecast so you're never bored that kind of wraps it up for today uh, hopefully there's not been too much wind noise i've got the gopro hero mod on which is a wind sock on there as well which should take a bit of that buffeting out as I tried to say in the aeroplane, uh, I'm looking at some sort of way of getting the audio from the intercom in the plane into the GoPro. And what I've found and been looking at some reviews of is something like the DJI wireless microphone. Should be able to tap something like that into it, but it's just a little bit out of my price range at the moment. Yeah, I've dropped the quality down to 1080p on the filming for the GoPro. I was filming everything in 4K, I've heard that can be part of the overheating issue and I guess being out here it doesn't really help that much when you've got such a high ambient temperature. So let me know if you've noticed the quality or if it's good enough and yeah just give me some feedback on if it's the quality, the content and what you want to see more of.